anyway, going back to the subject of um, Jelaine Maxwell and her arrest, mm. I've I've been seeing a load of um, people saying that there was a heart, a sorry, a high um, court case in Germany. I, I have a feeling you know more about her than I do. So do you want to yeah, elaborate yeah, yeah. on that? So basically, after Epstein was convicted of his um, sex crimes, you know, the first ones where he was arrested, but not really. Um, Deutsche Bank sought out, d deliberately went after him to um, go and, you know, secure his services and take his money, basically. And now there's been a court proceeding um, between Deutsche Bank and Epstein. I don't know the exact details, if I'm honest with you. But basically, there's been um, what was a clear, clear assassination attempt on the son of the New Jersey judge who was overseeing that case. Now, you know, where, you know, I'm not a massive conspiracy theory person. I, I'm willing to believe in a lot of things, but this is so dodgy. Is this not just so incredibly dodgy that you look at it and you, uh, what? It definitely rings a few alarming bells, doesn't it? Where this is very conveniently happening right now. It's just, it's scary because I know we've talked about it before and I'll continue saying it. Those people that high up, you don't know who they know and what strings they can pull. It's scary to think that one day you can be minding your own business and suddenly you walk into a random, like just meet a random person and you get along with them and I don't know, you hit it off, you're very good friends with them for a couple of years, and then all of a sudden a bad turn uh, t takes place and you have an argument or something like that. Next thing you know, you could be wanted by like the, an, an assassin or whatever. Uh, you, you don't know what happens in the background. And it's scary because I don't even think the police would know with a professional going in for someone and killing them and suddenly like, oh yeah, we're looking for uh, a person that's I don't know, let's make an assassin's appearance. What's his... Um, uh, He's probably uh, Ukrainian. <laughs> there we go. Bald Ukrainian. He's got a very strong <laughs> Eastern European accent. He walks around in a suit with a red tie. Does that, a yeah? red tie. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's go with that. Do you know what I mean? They would look for that because they've heard someone say or there's some sort of intelligence to say that. But they, they'll potentially never be able to find that because that person could just wear a wig when they're in public or or you know depending who they're working for you'd hope that they're a little bit clever cleverer than just wearing a wig but i get the point you're making that there will be so many techniques that they can use to kind of disguise their tracks or you know disguise themselves mm -hmm. so that people can't recognize them and point them out and say that was the guy that i saw at that suspicious location and talking of all of this has just reminded me of uh, the case that I, I, I was recently watching this documentary, I might have even sent it to you. It was about the corruption within the Ukrainian government. Uh, the, you remember that the, the president of Ukraine that was ousted just before the Russian, uh, the war in Eastern Ukraine? I think it's I remember Yukushenko. the story very vaguely. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So Yukushenko um, basically was taking it's a lot Ukrainian of... Ukrainian name. Exactly right. You just, you just put you just put um, Shank O on the end of any any kind of name. Jamasenko. There we go. You're Ukrainian now. Jamasenko. I uh, I am now I am now Ukrainian citizen. Please give me money. Oh wait, I'm Ukrainian. I have no money in the first place. <laughs> oh my god. Keep going, James. Come on. <laughs> So, um, basically, the idea, the, the, oh, it was a brilliant documentary by Al Jazeera. They basically documented how they were able to convert all the dirty money from money laundering from all of these um, Ukrainian oligarchs and convert it into clean money using British banks. And so I can't, I can't remember the exact details. <laughs> which is really bad. I probably should look that up. But basically, you, you know, the, the, what, I, what I'm getting at is there's so many systems that we're not aware of for people to cover up their money, 
to cover people up, to hide people. The fact that it took, how, when did Epstein pass away? It was October, November last year. Yeah. And they've only just found Ghislaine Maxwell. So it's taken them a good six to nine months to, to find her. This is supposedly the best, um, what, what they call the best research and intelligence uh, agency. Intelligence, that's probably the best way to describe them. The best intelligence agency, or one of the best in the world. And it's scary to think that if they don't know, or you know, they're taking their time gathering evidence and whatnot, what's stopping her from going around and doing the same thing that she did, um, that her partner did? Nothing. So there's no, or it doesn't appear that there's sense of urgency, or that they don't know where she is. So either or, it is scary, and I would agree with you.